A lot of people haven't seen a whole shrimp. Whole shrimp head on swimming around. So our shrimp have a very large head and then you have the normal body that everybody's used to seeing. They also have two different sets of legs. Their front legs they use to gather food. Their mouth is actually right here basically in their chest. The legs underneath the shrimp are basically their swimmer legs. They have a horn and a sharp tip on the back of their tails. Those are hard. And I was used to sitting behind a computer typing in and not really getting uh, my hands roughed up too much. But with the horn, it will draw blood, especially on a long harvest day that you're getting those guys out of the tanks. They will snap you and it hurts. They're very strong. You wouldn't think a little shrimp is that strong, but they get after you. Hi, little guy. Oh. Nice long antenna. You can see through him. He's healthy. He's been eating. He's ah. digesting. What a beautiful little animal. Hi. And off they go. So that's a 66-day-old shrimp. That's a 66-day-old from that, and that's what he's gotten to. Now 147 days over in that tank. That is a big shrimp. <laughs> and they're strong, aren't they? Yes, they're strong. Just totally translucent. Uh -huh. And there's about 40,000 of them in here. And they live in here until they're ready for harvest. And off they go. All we do is monitor their living conditions, make sure that they're properly fed. Those are our feeders right there. Just an old school clocking mechanism and a feeder belt uh, that holds their feed. So over a 24 hour period, this belt will wind up, drop that feed slowly into the tank. That's actually better for us than hand feeding because shrimp are grazers and they eat throughout the day. If you add a whole bunch of feed to the tank at one time, you actually reduce your dissolved oxygen that you have in the tank. Oh. So this, by spreading it out over a 24 hour period, it's, it's easier on the water and it's easier on us because we can get out of here when we're done. <laughs>